Hello there, welcome once again to 7 Sense Aptitude Prep. Today we bring to you details about the Adobe India Women in Technology Scholarship. Who can apply, how do you apply, the link to apply and what can help you get that scholarship will be discussed in this video. The link to apply is in the description of this video, please click on that and uh, please do subscribe please share this with uh, your juniors uh, if you are uh, from the 2021 or the 2020 batch please share this with your juniors in the 2022 batch please share this with your friends and uh, please ensure you let all the ladies know about this particular scholarship clicking on the link in the description takes you here this is the adobe india women in technology scholarship and if you want to email them, you have the email here. If you want to read more and if there are some uh, frequently asked questions for your ready reference, you can check that here. Previous scholarship award winners, you could uh, read about them here. So it says applications for the 2021 season are now open. So which is what we are applying for. And it says click here to apply. Before we go there, let us uh, look at uh, what this scholarship is all about. It says that it, uh, at Adobe, what do they do? They want sharp, intelligent, creative people. And uh, this scholarship is the Adobe India Women in Technology Scholarship. So the key factor here is women. Only women can apply uh, uh, to get selected into this particular program. And you could read more about a few of the winners of the 2020 uh, program. And you could uh, see and uh, read about what they did and how they won the scholarship. So the scholarship details, it says it looks at your entire tuition fees for the remainder of the award recipients university education ending in academic year 2022. So if you are a bad student of the batch 2022, from the moment you win the scholarship until you graduate, the entire tuition fees will be covered. You also have the opportunity for summer internship at Adobe India in 2021. As per your university guidelines or out of your interest, you could do this summer internship. You would be mentored by a senior technology leader from Adobe and you could travel to the grace hopper say i have a big conference uh, called the grace hopper conference in india and travel participation boarding lodging everything would be taken care of by adobe so for the eligibility criteria to be eligible for this scholarship you must be an indian female citizen student you have to enroll or be currently enrolled as a full-time student in a four-year pre-tech or an integrated mems MTech program and you should be completing the program in the academic year 2022. You should be pursuing a major in, in these streams. You could be a computer science student, information science student, electrical student, electronic student, uh, data science. Uh, again, if that's a, a branch that your university is offering, that's also okay. Math and computing. You could either uh, apply to this, which is Adobe India Women in Technology Scholarship, or there's one more called as the Adobe Global Women in Technology Scholarship. So this is the Adobe India Women in Technology Scholarship. Well, let us apply to that. If you are a related party, meaning if you have, uh, I do not have a spouse or a domestic partner yet, but if you are the child uh, or uh, if you are the sibling of someone who's currently working at Adobe, you can't apply to this scholarship you have to apply to only this link and the applications will close on september 20th so do not think that there's a lot of time as soon as you watch this video look at uh, applying because you also have to get a letter of recommendation from a professor and that's going to take time click here to access the application portal we'll do that no email applications will be accepted so no, do not uh, you have the email id here please don't go and uh, send an email asking for uh, your application to be considered and the applications will have this there will be an essay uh, short answer uh, type questions five of them uh, there, are, there is a resume that you have to do letter of recommendation from a professor from whom you have taken a college course so it should be someone from your department ideally then academic transcripts from your current and past institutions if it's a b uh, current institution if it's a um, m tech uh, program you also ensure you get a b tech uh, transcript as well and then other details that you need to fill september 20th is a red line so don't keep it at the last moment only indian female nationals studying in indian universities are eligible to apply internship will be offered at the adobe india office and uh, the winner will not be eligible once you win the scholarship will not win any other scholarship from adobe for the same year and adobe's decision is final let's go and apply you could either click on this link to apply or you could click on 
this link to apply so just click on that this is the faq part please do read it if you want so is there a limit to the number of applicants from single university no how will the letter of recommendation be submitted it, uh, the professor will get a link and he has to fill that link uh, he or she and uh, you will get an update uh, when your professor fills the application only when the recommendation is received will the application be considered complete will show that deadline uh, is 13 days after the application deadline so the deadline for the letter of recommendation is october 5 if I remember correctly, so we'll show that again. Will I be able to update my scholarship application on the submit? Yes, you can. Even if you submit, so submit it quickly. You can change it any number of times until September 20th. Official transcripts to be signed by the registrar. Not right now. You can just get the academic transcripts, which is a summary of the marks scored by you. Uh, and these are some key points that the uh, recommendation giver needs to keep in mind i'll also show you what he or she will fill for you master student can apply yes if pursuing dual degree so these are some of the faqs to get the faqs you click here in this main link let's look at the scholarship application and here it says uh, when you click on the application link you will come to this particular portal only for questions do you email here please do not send the application this email address only for the questions so create a new application so i will put in email address okay please put in your email address which you regularly check so this is done your application is created then it says here that uh, thank you for uh, considering uh, the scholarship application and it uh, will take time for your reference submit the letter of recommendation you could sub admit you could uh, sorry submit and then change the application until the deadline so all of that is given here it says form is not complete because you have not submitted the recommendation letter has not been received so their application is not yet complete i'll show you how uh, it progresses so personal information applic uh, so you start off with edit and your applicant name so i'm going to write binod because there are a few people who comment in the comment section saying it's binod so i'm going to write my applicant name as binod to acknowledge those comments my university will be vtu type of uh, you could not type of degree it would be bachelor's b you could write b so b tech what whatever that is number of years completed in program as of august 2020 irrespective of the pandemic you would write two here Okay, don't think, oh, my exams weren't done by August 2020. No, you finish two years in the program if you're in the batch of 2022. So write two here, please. Year of completion of the program has to be compulsorily 2022. Grade point average, if it's a percentage, please convert it into grade point average. Uh, 8.5 out of 10. Okay, see so the GPA major will be, let's say, electronics department uh, so electronics uh, there is a circular at least from the visual technology university there is a circular which says uh, even the instrumentation branch the telecommunication branch is considered equivalent to electronics so all those branches can also apply uh, there's a circular from your respective university please do check whether you are eligible to apply computer science information science electrical and electronic students can apply department is also electronics research areas of interest will be let's say vlsi VLSI, uh, IoT, whatever is your areas of interest, please do right. Country of residence is India. Data share consent. I will be sharing my data, and all files must be in PDF. If you already uploaded a file, uploading a new one will replace the old one. So I'll, for my resume, I will do this transcripts, which is the format of your certificates. Please do uh, upload the transcripts, convert everything into PDF, don't upload images. Reference for letter of recommendation, write the full name with the designation. So I will write that here, Dr. Uh, Rangaswamy. So I will give a dummy email to show how the email from Adobe would look like and what are the parameters you will have to consider that your recommendation giver would uh, give so let me just give this uh, as a dummy email which i will get and i'll show that to you um, here so let's let's give me this okay so when you are actually submitting this applicant application please 
correct uh, fill in the correct email address here don't fill in a dummy email address because the recommendation letter goes to this person so fill check with the person who uh, you entered here and check with them that they are okay giving the letter of recommendation and what are the parameters they need to write correct so ensure that their email is given i have put another email id of seven cents because i want to show you what are the parameters they have to fill now these are the essay questions that you have to do since an acknowledgement will be sent to the current email address of the professor whenever there's a change uh, or to the professor's email address so these are the five questions that you have to answer there is a word limit and you can't answer beyond it says one state your future goals technology challenges that you're passionate about and personal motivations to pursue if you have technology uh, you'll have to write answer to this question i just write hi so that the form gets submitted and describe an event that has impacted your life either in a positive or negative way in the same event where to reoccur what would you do differently and why one wants to know what you learned from some of the big events in your life it says why do you think you are deserving of the adobe uh, women in technology scholarship what unique qualities do you bring to the scholarship program and what do you expect from the program in return and something about number of women in technology if the number of women is generally less so what challenges have you faced or you anticipate facing in the future in the field of technology and a role model why do you look up to this person as the role model so if you want if you have a video as uploading your dream career is to uh, youtube or give the link or uh, only one link can be uploaded i would strongly recommend that you do a like a short video resume about you uh, and upload it on your youtube uh, individual channel and put the link here strongly recommend that you do it so i click on save when i click on save uh, these five questions have answered here all of this is done so then it will say that the form is submitted but the application is incomplete it says see form is complete but the recommendation letter has not been received it says your application is not yet complete only when this is done is the application complete now that you have submitted the form this is a email that you will get it says dear pinot not Vinod pinot application has been received it says form is complete but recommendation letter has not been received and an email has been sent to dr rangaswamy asking for the recommendation okay and then it asks you to follow up with the recommendation giver he or she has to give the recommendation by uh, october 5th that is the time given here okay so please keep this in mind and ensure only people who, give, who you are sure will give you a very good recommendation letter their name and email id you include so let me see what email your professor is going to get so let me just go to this email address and this is what i kept open here it says dear professor dr rangaswamy and it says we are contacting you this is what your professor will get reference we know has applied for the uh, adobe women in technology scholarship and has listed you as a reference if you are okay writing a letter of recommendation and they also give information about this program if you are okay writing the letter of recommendation click here and it says that is need to supply uh, submitted by october 5th so let me click on this application this is what your professor is going to fill so what you could do is you could show this to the professor beforehand saying these things must be filled by you are you okay filling it so this is the recommendation letter that the professor has to fill and it says please answer the following questions how long do you know this applicant and how, how well do you know him or her or rather know him how well do you know her what has been your experience and when they work closely with you how well do you uh, know this applicant what has been your experience and how do you compare this student to other students that you have taught so upload, uh, upload your letter of recommendation it says ensure that you speak with the professor and a very very well written letter of recommendation letter needs to be uploaded because this will be a key factor in determining whether you get this scholarship or at least get processed to the next round so i just uh, put this here letter of recommendation this is to be done by your prof and this you need to ensure you give a uh, reference of a professor who is going to rate you very very highly so someone who will rate you generally in the top five percent or best this year for all of these um, uh, individual criteria right so i would think of a professor who will rate you here or here anything below that will be damaging right so ambition initiative i probably want my professor to put it this way okay something here and then you will submit it so this is what the professor has to do he has to give a letter of recommendation that looks at these four questions these three questions and then fill these drop down uh, for the criteria given and then when he or she clicks uh, submit this is your professor 
what happens is that you will get an email and the professor will get an email. It says, uh, the professor will get an email like this. It says, Dear Dr. Rangaswamy, thank you for submitting a letter of recommendation for Binod. Uh, actually, it should be Binodini here because it's for females. Scholarship recipients will be announced by December 7th. So this is what your professor will get. And this will sh tell the professor that his recommendation or her recommendation was successfully submitted. You will get a, an email like this. You will get something like this. It says, Dear Binod, Dr. Rangaswamy has completed your recommendation request. Then what happens is your form is complete and recommendation has been received. So your application is complete. So only filling the form will make your application incomplete. Form and the recommendation letter needs to be filled. You can edit, even if you fill, you can edit it num any number of times until September 20th. And your uh, professor can also uh, update the letter of recommendation or submit uh, multiple ones. Each time you submit something, the new form or the new document is considered uh, the latest one, right? All these materials must be received before Monday, October 5. So, wishing you all the best as you apply uh, to Adobe. This is for all the women in technology candidates, computer science, information science, electrical, electronics, instrumentation, telecommunication students of the batch of 2022. So, all the best. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.